Hi friends, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing fine. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, God bless you. Thank you so much for coming back here to watch my videos. I appreciate much. But if you're new here, hello, welcome to my channel. Please, before you leave, remember to subscribe. And when you subscribe, click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you'll always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear beautiful friends in our today's video we are going to be having a story time of a random lady by the name of dorothy 34 years old who found love on online dating apps within a day of joining. She found love with a German guy. That guy's name is Volker. He is in his 50s. So dear friends, I am very, very excited today. <laughs> and I know right now you're like, Bella, you're always excited to share with us a story. But guys, I am super, super excited today. The reason is Dorothy is my own baby, my own product. The dating app where she found the one within a day of joining is the dating app that I shared here on my channel. Guys, when I sit here to share with you a story, it is not to make you feel like, oh my God, I am so unlucky. Oh my God, why is that? It's only me that is struggling on online dating apps. No, that is not my intention. My intention is to inspire you. My intention is to keep you moving so that you can achieve what you are looking for on online dating apps. Dorothy's story makes me very happy because it makes me feel like I have achieved what I have been trying to do. You know, you do something and you start seeing the results. The feeling is really, really good. Makes me keep on moving forward. Makes me keep on coming here to share with you these love stories so that you can get inspired. Watch this love story till the end because it is going to inspire you. It is going to teach you lots, lots of things, especially if you are on online dating apps searching for that right man for marriage. Let it be a white man. Let it be any man of any color. So dear friends, let's find out how did Dorothy find love within that one day of joining online dating apps. What helped her? Without wasting much of your time, let us jump into this beautiful online dating success love story. So friends, let us start with the part most ladies that shares with us their beautiful love story don't like to share this part, but you know Bella can be so insisting. And this part is very, very important because I can't just jump and start being like, she found love on online dating apps <laughs> without telling you where she came from. What pushed her to join online dating apps? We know she is a random lady. Was she in a love relationship before with a random guy? And if yes, how did it go? So we are going to be starting with her past love relationship experience just digging a little bit deeper <laughs> so dear friends dorothy tells us yes she was in a love relationship before with a random guy his name is edwin they met at the university in 2011 when dorothy was in her first year at the university they started dating dorothy tells us Edwin was such a nice guy and she even thought he was going to be her future husband because the guy was showing her so much love. He even took things to the next level, introduced Dorothy to his family. Dorothy was really happy, so Edwin's family knew Dorothy. Dorothy's family never knew Edwin, like she never introduced Edwin to her family because she wasn't ready yet. But they kept on dating, tells us they dated for eight good years. So after being in a love relationship for eight good years, tells us it was in 2018 
whereby Edwin started changing, started acting weird. And then one day called Dorothy, told Dorothy, I am traveling to America tomorrow because life here in Rwanda is very, very difficult. So I just want to go to America and try life there. Dorothy was really, really angry at him because he never told her anything of his plans to go to America. But Edwin explained to Dorothy that the reason why I am going to America is for the future of the two of us. So just let me go. Dorothy was like, no, if you are going to America, you just go. I can't keep on like waiting for you. We have been dating for eight years, but I haven't seen anything good coming out of it. And right now you're telling me you're going to America to keep on making me wait for you. I'm not going to wait for you. But he pleaded and told Dorothy, please, we come from far. You can't just leave me like that. So guys, in the end, Dorothy told Edwin, it's okay okay, you can go and I forgive you for not telling me your plans to go to America before because you're telling me now I'm traveling tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, but the reason why she forgave him and accepted to wait for him is because Dorothy was so much in love with Edwin. And it's obvious, guys, a relationship of eight good years. So friends, Edwin traveled to America and when he arrived in America, told Dorothy that I have arrived, they kept on communicating. But after staying few days in America, did some paperwork and moved to Canada. He also communicated to Dorothy and told her, I have moved to Canada. I will be staying with my friends. Everything continued and they could chat every single day, makes video calls, especially when it's in the evening after work. Dorothy was so, so happy, excited for her future with Edwin in Canada. So time passed and then Edwin started acting weird. Guys, I think I've talked of this. If you're dating a guy, you have been in a relationship for so, so long, you tend to know each other very well. So when a guy changes, <laughs> he doesn't have to tell you that I have changed. You will see it through his actions because you know him very well. So Edwin started changing and Dorothy sensed that because the guy could be like, I am very busy, I can't talk to you, too much work, or I am living with my friends, you know, putting lots of boundaries. So Dorothy was there wondering what's happening, but she was not getting any answer. You know, when you're there trying to guess. <laughs> yeah, so that is the situation Dorothy was in. So guys, yes, Dorothy was there trying to guess what's happening, why is that the boyfriend has changed? But they kept on communicating whenever Edwin got time to talk to Dorothy. Then time went on and then came Christmas 2018. So on Christmas Eve, Edwin told Dorothy, Today night I won't be able to talk to you because we have a Christmas party at work with my colleagues and because Dorothy is such a good lady, a very calm lady, a lady who is drama free, you know that drama free girlfriend <laughs> told Edwin it's okay no problem as long as you are fine I am okay. <laughs> I don't know why men can't notice such kind of a good lady, a wife material. Because <laughs> a woman who is drama free, if you marry her, you are going to live a very calm, positive life. <laughs> so Edwin was like, okay, we'll talk tomorrow. And it ended like that. Dorothy was at peace, never had like very negative thoughts in her mind. Though yes, the guy had changed, but she wasn't like, maybe this guy doesn't want to talk to me because he wanna cheat on me tonight. No, <laughs> that is not what she was thinking. Because the truth guys is, if you love a guy, <laughs> 
<laughs> and then you start seeing him changing. Yes, you know, something must be wrong somewhere. <laughs> but even if your mind tells you that something must be wrong somewhere, because of the love you feel for him, you still convince yourself that everything is fine. The guy loves you so much, he can't cheat on you, you know? Yeah, that is why you find you keep on like communicating with that person, though deep inside you, you're like, mm, something is not right. <laughs> so after Dorothy talking to Edwin, she slept, and then in the morning, surprise! <laughs> went to Instagram and when she opened Instagram, found a lady, that lady one time she fought with Edwin because the lady was sending her messages that she was not understanding well. But when she asked Edwin, Edwin was like, no, you know, this lady is my classmate. Now she lives in Canada. There are some things that she has been asking me. And at that time, Edwin was still in Rwanda. So when she went on Instagram that morning, found that that lady had posted photos of her and Edwin and down the photo the caption was Christmas dinner date with my babe oh my goodness Dorothy couldn't believe she had to zoom you know zoom <laughs> the photos to see very well if it is his Edwin and yes to her surprise it was Edwin with that lady. She was so angry, very disappointed, started crying and later on decided to write a message to Edwin, tell him, you know what? Thank you so much for lying to me. I see how you have spent your Christmas Eve. It's the end of me and you and sent the photos to Edwin. So Dorothy tells us that was the end of her first relationship and that's how her past love relationship was tells us she later on came to know the truth that edwin was living with that lady in canada it's the lady that took edwin to canada but he wasn't courageous enough to tell dorothy that i have a girlfriend you have to move on it wasn't easy for dorothy to move on because guys Losing your boyfriend for another lady, it really hurts. You ask yourself lots of questions. What is wrong with me? Maybe I am very ugly. Maybe I am not good enough. It really brings you down, brings your self-esteem very, very down. Girl, if a guy decided to cheat on you, if a guy decided to take another lady. You have got nothing to do with that. A guy is just a cheater, simply like that. He wasn't good enough for you. You are beautiful the way you are. Keep praying and God will bring the guy who will love you for who you are, a guy who will appreciate you. Yes, that's my message to you all that have lost boyfriends or your husbands to other women. It hurts, yes, but life has to move on. Never cry for someone who can't cry for you. So friends, like I said, it wasn't easy for Dorothy, but she was strong enough to let go, not to keep on wasting her time or start fighting that lady like he is mine. <laughs> no, she had to move on, but because she was very, very hurt, decided to take a break from dating. So friends, Dorothy tells us while on a break, it was 2019, she went to visit her uncle and this uncle is those uncles that you are like, you know friends? <laughs> yeah, so the uncle was asking her about her relationship status and then she was like, uncle, I am still single, <laughs> not dating anyone. And then the uncle talked of online dating apps he was like, why can't you try online dating apps? Because I have seen people meet online. What you do, you just go write your name, put your photos and what you want. Then you can find someone. <laughs> oh my God, this uncle is such a modern uncle. <laughs> 
talking of online dating apps. But with Dorothy at that time, when the uncle was talking of online dating apps, wasn't ready at all to be in a relationship. So friends, Dorothy tells us, 2019 passed, 2020 passed, 2021 passed, then 2022, Dorothy remembered that she is a lady who always wanted to date a white guy but tells us in Rwanda it is almost impossible you know to find a white guy you don't see white guys everywhere every day in Rwanda that is why it was so hard for her so she was there praying to God that God give me a white man as a husband but not finding any in Rwanda. That's when she decided to go on YouTube and start searching for online dating apps with success stories. So Dorothy got recommended my channel 2022 June started watching my videos, online dating videos, giving tips, how to know a guy is serious. She tells us she remember I talked of when a guy asks you for nude photos, you know that guy will never be serious. So she got lots, lots of tips from my videos that June 2022 and August 2022, Dorothy felt like was ready to start online dating. So that's when her online dating journey started and she started with Afro Introduction. So opened her online dating account on Afro Introductions and started chatting with men from all over the world. So tells us, yes, she was chatting with different men. They were writing to her and also focused on men who were paying on Afro introductions because she never wanted to pay <laughs> any money. And that's what I have been advising you. I'm telling you, Dorothy took every tip <laughs> that I have been sharing here and applied them while on her search. So she came across lots of men who were players, came across those who asked her for nude photos, came across those who were like, they want online sex. <laughs> but Dorothy never accepted to do that because she knew from my videos that I told her, if you find such kind of guys, just block them. So what she could do could only block and keep on searching. So she kept on searching from August 2022 Till December 2022, that's when Dorothy was like, no, this online dating does not work at all for me. <laughs> was so frustrated. And the reason why she was frustrated is because wasn't coming across any serious guy. So she was like, no, 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 this is not for me. So eventually December 2022 decided to delete her Afro introductions dating account so guys after deleting her afro introduction account decided to dedicate her time to god she could pray could fast and talk to god every single day that god it's you who knows where my white husband will come from for me i don't know but i pray that you bring my white husband to me the right man who will love me for who i am so kept on praying kept on with her life work and in january sat down was like but dorothy you want a white man here in rwanda you know already that it is hard to find a white guy so where do you think you are going to find that white guy <laughs> that you want for marriage better return to online dating apps and i have been telling you dear ladies that deleting a dating account is not a solution it's not <laughs> you are allowed to take a break because yes guys i understand Hand. It's not that I'm married already. I don't understand. I know the struggles that you ladies are going through on online dating apps. That is why I've been telling you 
take a break. If you feel tired, just take a break, but don't delete your dating account, okay? <laughs> so that January, Dorothy decided to first come <laughs> to my channel, you know, and watch some videos. Then came across a story, a success story that I shared, a lady found love within a month of joining. I'm going to be telling you what that story was because you've got an update about that story, a very good update. <laughs> yeah, so she watched that video and was really, really happy, decided to join that dating app. Also, the name of the dating app, I'm going to be sharing it before I end this video. So friends, after Dorothy watching that success love story that I shared here on my channel, got the name of the dating app, decided to join. It was on 6th January 2023 this year. So after joining that dating app, started getting lots of messages from men. And among of the messages that she received was a message from a German guy. His name is Volker. <laughs> Tells us it's written like Volker, but when you pronounce it, it's Volker. So Volker's message was like, hello, beautiful. How are you doing? And then Dorothy decided to respond. After responding, then Volker was like, how is that a very beautiful lady like you is here on the site searching? What happened to random men? <laughs> Then Dorothy was like, yeah, men in Rwanda exist. It's not like don't exist good men in Rwanda, but it's not what I want. That is why I am here. Then Dorothy asked him and you, what are you doing here? <laughs> so Volker responded and was like, I'm looking for a serious relationship so it ended like that that day and the next day dorothy tells us found Volker's message but she was like ah, this guy must be a joker and the reason why she was like he must be a joker is because Volker never had photos <laughs> on his profile i don't know what is wrong with german guys <laughs> This is the second story we are hearing a guy not having photos on his profile and a German guy. <laughs> you are too much, guys. Put photos on your profiles. <laughs> You're making it hard for ladies to know if you are real or not. <laughs> so Volker never had photos and Dorothy decided to ignore him for some days. And then when she returned, found another message from Volker telling her, Dorothy, what happened? Why is that you went quiet? So Dorothy responded and was like, sorry, Volker, I was really, really busy. That is why I did not respond to you. So Volker asked Dorothy, can we please exchange WhatsApp numbers? <laughs> Dorothy was like, no, we are going to chat here till we know if we like each other, yes, we can exchange phone numbers. Let us get to know each other a little bit more. And this is what I advised you guys. <laughs> but again, told you, don't make it so difficult. You can decide to exchange WhatsApp numbers with a guy same, same day. And if you go on WhatsApp, if he misbehaves, you block the guy immediately. <laughs> There is no need to keep him. So Dorothy told Volker, no, let's keep chatting in here because if I'm going to be exchanging WhatsApp numbers with guys like that without knowing each other a bit, how many guys am I going to give my WhatsApp numbers? <laughs> So Volker begged her and was like, Dorothy, please let us exchange phone numbers. I'm a good guy. <laughs> so in the end, Dorothy was like, okay, I'm going to exchange phone numbers with him. If he misbehaves, it's a block. 
and that's what she did exchanged phone numbers with him went on whatsapp and then started communicating getting to know each other i know you want to know if folka asked dorothy nude photos <laughs> After exchanging WhatsApp numbers, no, he never asked her for nude photos. He never asked her for online sex. No, they kept on getting to know each other. And within a short period of time, Folka introduced Dorothy to his parents. I think within a week, this guy was really, really fast. And it's such kind of a guy that I told you on online dating apps, if you come across a guy who is very, very desperate, but in a genuine way, then that guy is the one. So Folka was really, really desperate to find the one. That is why he was so, so fast. Yes, he was so open, telling Dorothy everything about his life, sharing with her his daily activities in details, guys. This is a good guy, not a guy that you chat in the morning and then he comes in the evening. Good night, my love. So it is good morning, good night. That's it. How are you guys going to know each other? If you see a guy like that, better end that communication because it will never take you anywhere. Never. And a guy who is really, really interested in you is going to be keeping on asking you questions. So don't be like, maybe it's me who don't have anything to talk to this guy. No, a guy should ask you questions. You should ask a guy questions. So you find you're asking a guy questions and he is answering, but not asking you any questions. So that means that communication in the end is going to faint but why faint it's because the guy is not all that interested in you no matter how you try if a guy is not interested no matter how you are talkative charming it will not help a guy too needs to be interested so that the conversation can flow so guys they kept on communicating and dorothy tells us january 16th 2023 Folka told her, Dorothy, I really want to meet you in person. I want to come to Rwanda. Dorothy was like, you are welcome. In Dorothy's mind, thought that Folka was going to Rwanda, example, in December. Because for her, thought that white men plan ahead of time. So if he is talking of meeting her in Rwanda, that means he's going to go in December. So she was like, yes, December, I will be available. You are very, very welcome to Rwanda. <laughs> so Folka was like, no, I am not coming in December. I want to come in February. <laughs> Dorothy was like, what? In her mind, this guy is a liar. How can you start chatting with a girl in January on online dating apps? Then February, you already want to meet her. No, this guy is just lying to me. But told the guy, you are welcome. They kept on communicating and Dorothy was like, I want to see where this will lead. So after that 16th, they kept on communicating and on 29th January 2023, again, Folka told Dorothy, are you really ready to meet me in person? <laughs> Dorothy was like, yes, I am ready. So Folka told her, I have booked for a flight ticket to Rwanda to come in February. Dorothy was like, what? This guy is a liar. Sent her the flight booking. <laughs> She was like, no, he just got it on internet. Anyone can get that on the internet. He is just trying to play with me. <laughs> but kept on going with the flow. What I have been telling you, dear beautiful ladies, you have to go with the flow. You don't have to show a guy, I doubt you so much. You are a liar. You got this on the internet. No, don't tell him that. <laughs> Go with the flow, but you know what you feel deep inside, okay? <laughs> so that's what Dorothy did. 
kept on chatting with him and was like okay i am happy i can't wait to see you <laughs> And then a few days after, he was like, can you help me look for some good hotels in Kigali? And then Dorothy started looking for some hotels, but also he was like, I'm also going to research on my own some good hotels in Kigali. And yes, eventually Folka sent her the hotel booking <laughs> in Kigali. Oh my goodness. Dorothy was like, is this guy serious? but anyone can make booking <laughs> in the hotels you can get that this guy is still playing for her she didn't believe at all the guy can travel within that short period of time of knowing each other and guys this reminds me when dorothy sent me a message on instagram i made a story on instagram <laughs> screenshotted her message so lots of people are like congratulations i'm happy for you but others <laughs> wrote to me were well, like ella i think this is too soon <laughs> guys it's only a meeting they are not getting married though <laughs> it's a meeting of getting to know each other and it shows the guy is serious if the guy is really coming for you, only for you, then that guy is really interested in you. But again, guys, it's not that I've told you when a guy comes, then he is serious. If he is coming for you, then you only look at that and be like, I found the one. No, dear beautiful ladies, I've done a video on how to know if a guy is seriously looking for love on online dating apps go watch that cause you can't just look at only one thing and be like you know deal done <laughs> no you have to also look into other aspects other things watch the red flags okay so let's keep on with our story so friends the day to travel for Folka came and he told Dorothy, I'm starting my journey today, tomorrow at 3 p.m. Please come at the airport to pick me up. <laughs> so Dorothy was like, mm, I don't know <laughs> if it is true. So when he reached in Ethiopia, told Dorothy, Dorothy, I am in Ethiopia, took a photo of him at the airport and sent it to her. Dorothy still wasn't believing the guy <laughs> he was like no maybe those are his old photos you know when he was traveling <laughs> to different countries it can't be true but i will still go to the airport <laughs> at three to pick him so let me take you a little bit back when they were talking of him going to Kigali, he asked Dorothy, will you have leave days at work when I come to Rwanda? Dorothy was like, yes, no problem. I will be on leave. I'm going to ask for leave. But the truth is, <laughs> Dorothy never asked for leave because she was not believing in a guy that he will go. And for me, I think... That was a smart thing for Dorothy to do because recently I have a very good good friend of mine we met here on YouTube I've been helping her to find love on online dating apps so I was chatting with a guy for three months and then this guy planned to go visit her they talked of him going <laughs> oh my god these guys play a lot so after talking of him going, days were, you know, approaching. My friend took leave from work, two weeks leave, because she knew the dates when the guy will be in her country. So she was free on those days so that she can be with him. So as days kept on going, I started asking this friend, how is it going? Is the guy excited? telling you where he will be staying you know where he wants to visit maybe telling you how he is excited to try tanzanian food you know <laughs> my friend was like no bella he is not even all that excited he is not even talking of that i was like girl 
<laughs> wake up talk to that guy get to know is this guy coming or not so she had to ask the guy again are you coming and that was the same same month actually it was february and that was the beginning of february so she asked the guy and the guy was like yes i will come but if i don't come i'm going to let you know can you imagine guys <laughs> the lady has took leave already and you're telling her that if you won't be able to travel you will let her know which means you are not even sure i told you avoid men that are not clear so to make the story short that relationship had to end back to dorothy dorothy not taking leave from work it was a good thing to do because you take leave and then the guy doesn't come <laughs> You just waste your leave days just like that because if you have your leave days you can use them you know to travel wherever part of the world you want to go or if you find a serious guy then you use those leave with that serious guy than wasting them just like that so she didn't take leave at all so to the airport guys so time to go to the airport came and dorothy went on time started waiting people came out and <laughs> she was there looking <laughs> being like oh i don't know if this guy is gonna show up and yes eventually he showed up they were happy to see each other they hugged so tightly and Folka told dorothy you are even more beautiful in person than in the photos <laughs> oh my god she was really really happy i'm gonna show you a short clip here or here or here of them at the airport hugging that first time you know that airport hug <laughs> oh my god it was such a beautiful moment the airport they went to the hotel where Folka had booked after arriving at the hotel he took a shower and then after a shower he went to take some tea so as he was taking some tea they started talking you know making stories getting to know each other more <laughs> they were both happy to see each other and time passed then the evening came so when the evening came dorothy was like i have to go back home folka was like why are you going back home i took this hotel room it's a big one enough for the two of us why do you want to leave me here alone <laughs> sleep here with me dorothy was like no you know due to our culture i can't just sleep around like that i have to first ask permission from my family and then tomorrow i will come sleep with you then Folka was like Dorothy no you stay we're not going to do anything at all I promise you <laughs> we are only going to talk keeping on knowing each other in person so Dorothy told him no I can't I have to go but I promise you tomorrow I'll come back here so Folka accepted you know he had to <laughs> Dorothy returned back home then the second day Dorothy tells us she had to go to work remember did not take leave <laughs> so what she did went to Folka they took breakfast together talked and told Folka I have to go to work then Folka was like what work aren't you on leave <laughs> Uh, proceed. <laughs> Dorothy told him no the leave starts tomorrow not today <laughs> so there is a report I have to do today that is why I have to go to work and then I will come back here to stay with you so Folka said okay you can go so after breakfast Dorothy went to work and that's when she asked for leave days so that she can get enough time to spend with Folka. After work that day, Dorothy went to the hotel where Folka was staying. They started staying together, but 
that night no goodies were shared and the second day they went for hiv test and after testing on the third day that is when they enjoyed the goodies <laughs> Yeah, and tells us they enjoyed very, very much. <laughs> he liked it and she liked it. It went really, really well. <laughs> so they kept on spending some good time together, you know, getting to know each other more and more. Remember, <laughs> they were only chatting for a month. Yeah, so they had to use that chance very very well to get to know each other Dorothy to ask all questions <laughs> that she had in her mind and get clear answers from him so they kept on enjoying time together and then Dorothy tells us one evening Folka told her you know what Dorothy I want to get to know your family Dorothy was like, ah, oh, okay, no problem. You will get to know them. Then he added, I want to meet them. <laughs> Dorothy was like, what? Meet them? He said, yes, I want to meet them. Don't they know me? <laughs> Dorothy said, no, they don't know you yet. Oh my goodness. Volker panicked. He was like, why? My family knows you. Why is that your family don't know me? Why didn't you tell your family about me? <laughs> so Dorothy started explaining, you know, we have been chatting for a very short period of time. So that is why I did not tell my family. I have to be sure first. <laughs> and get to know if you are serious with me. So Folka wasn't happy about that. Told Dorothy, are you for real? I traveled all this long to Africa for the first time here in Kigali just for you and you're telling me that you're not sure if I am serious. I am serious. I am interested in you. If I wasn't, I couldn't have spent all this money just to come here and play games with you. So in the end, Dorothy was like, okay, there is no problem. I'm going to talk to my parents and then we organize when you can go visit them and get to know them. But guys, Dorothy wasn't wrong at all. I told you, you can't just take a guy to meet your family, meet your parents, while you are not sure, deep inside, you are not sure if this guy really loves you. So you have to make sure you are sure, sure that the guy is the one before you introduce him to your family. So Dorothy's family knew that Volker was just a friend from Germany. That's it. Nothing more. <laughs> so now wait for Afro cinema. Volker arrived on 9th January 2023, then 10, 11, <laughs> 12, 13th, on 14th, we all know 14th February, it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> so on Valentine's Day, in the morning, Volker told Dorothy, can you please book for a restaurant so that we can go and have a dinner date together? Dorothy was really happy about that and went booked. And here we have another Afro cinema. <laughs> That made Dorothy cry so much. So the evening came, they all prepared and went to that restaurant. After arriving at the restaurant, Dorothy tells us the restaurant that she booked was one of those luxurious restaurants in Kigali. <laughs> so after arriving, they sat down and then the waiter brought the menu for them to choose what they want to eat. When Folka started looking at the menu, saw the prices, so Folka was like, Dorothy, why did you choose such an expensive restaurant? Why? No, I can't pay all this money. We have to go. And at the same time, the waiter was there standing. <laughs> 
watching all that scene you know so dorothy was super super embarrassed and started telling folka why are you embarrassing me in front of people folka was like no dorothy it's not that i don't have money i have money but i'm not ready to spend all that money here it doesn't make sense at all so let's go let's go let's go find another place oh my god dorothy was so angry <laughs> but she had to stand up and they went out so after going out they went and looked for another affordable restaurant that had you know normal prices not those exaggerated prices and i know guys <laughs> you know there are some restaurants in africa whereby prices will be the same price as luxurious restaurants here in Europe. So I can understand Volker's shock very, very well. So after going to this other restaurant that had normal prices, Dorothy tells us she was there, you know, with a frown face like this serious, not smiling, and Volker was, you know, just looking at her. <laughs> but they ate and later on they talked, you know, it passed returned to the hotel so after returning to the hotel that's when folka told dorothy you know what i'm sorry if i responded you in a rude way maybe i'm sorry if i embarrassed you but i am trying to teach you on how to save money how to spend money you can't just throw money anyhow like that guys if you remember i did a video talked of german men if you remember <laughs> and one of the things i talked about is that german men like to save you know they can save everything is saving 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 but again if you found a German guy who is not into that saving, 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 it's okay. He is a different German guy. But if you come across the one who is saving, 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 then don't be surprised because that is how they are. And with this, I think Volker has proved me right in that video. So when Dorothy told me this, I told her, you know what? For me, I appreciate Volker. Yes, I know you ladies that are watching this, you're gonna be so angry at Volker and some of you will be like, it will be done done. <laughs> that same evening, I was going to leave him there and go back home, I know. <laughs> but for me guys, I appreciate him. He became who he is, you know, a real guy, not pretending because i've got some examples a guy can take you to that expensive luxurious restaurant <laughs> that you chose pay everything but after that he will be repeating it every single time that you fight he is like i paid lots of money you are a materialistic lady you know tell you lots lots of bad things about that day so for me with a guy like that I choose for him not to pay so that we can stay in peace. And another thing that I appreciate for Volker to be himself that night is to show Dorothy, this is me, this is how I am. So either take me as I am or you just leave me and go to a boyfriend who will pay that much money at the luxurious restaurant yes because some white guys are here in europe let's say in america canada australia wherever part of the world they are coming from come to africa but their real life in europe some of them are depending on the government to support them so that they can survive some of them have got loads of debts <laughs> on their back but go to Africa, show you that expensive life, show you with lots of gifts, lots of money. But when you come to live with them, it's totally a different 
thing. You start suffering. So why show you the life that it's not his life? So it is good for a guy to be himself at the beginning of your relationship so that you know what you are going to put yourself into next. <laughs> yeah. So yes, Dorothy was so angry at him at that moment. But later on, after him saying sorry and explain to why he refused to pay all that money at the restaurant, she understood and was like, I think he has got a point here because even Dorothy has been to that restaurant before <laughs> and she knew it was really, really expensive. So she was like, he has told me not to throw money anyhow, just because you have got money, then, you know, you spend it anyhow learn to save and now from what we have heard <laughs> the restaurant scenario you are curious to know if Folka brought some gifts to Dorothy when he went to Rwanda to visit her yes Dorothy tells us he brought gifts to her and she really loves a lot those gifts among the gifts that he brought was airports so friends they kept on spending some good time in kigali and dorothy tells us folka was in kigali for 10 days and in those 10 days they visited different tourist attractions even took even took folka to visit the kigali genocide museum at that museum folka cried he was like oh my god how can people who speak the same language be cruel to each other like that it's really really sad and apart from visiting different tourist attractions in kigali folka one day asked dorothy do you know how to swim dorothy was like no i don't know how to swim so he told her i'm going to teach you and they started their lesson right now dorothy tells us she is a good swimmer <laughs> and another thing that he told her was to play golf even her sisters right now <laughs> they tease her when she gets late at home they are like oh where is dorothy but i think maybe she's there playing golf <laughs> She must be playing golf because Folka taught her how to play golf. So they really enjoyed very, very much. And the day to go visit her family came. We have another Afro cinema. <laughs> so the day to visit her family was on Sunday. And that day woke up very early. Folka asked her, where are you going? Then she was like, I am going home to prepare. Because, you know, when you're expecting a guest, <laughs> you must be there, you know, preparing, you know, the environment and everything. So he was like, okay, and Dorothy went home, prepared, then time for Folka to go came, he went. When he arrived, they were happy to meet him, tells us he is such a very nice guy, a social guy, you know, very funny. So they talked, and as they were talking, Dorothy's brother asked Folka, so Folka, is this your first time in Kigali? Folka was like, yes, actually, it is my first time in Africa and all because of this woman. So tells us the sisters were there, started looking at each other. <laughs> How? She told us he is just your friend. <laughs> So that's when the brother asked, so how did you know each other? <laughs> Dorothy never told the family that they met on online dating apps. So Folka was like, we met on online dating apps. I saw Dorothy's photo. They were very, very beautiful. I wrote to her and then immediately Dorothy had to write to him a message to say, and here we are. So he was like, yeah, and here we are. <laughs> But when he said they met on online dating apps, the sisters started looking at Dorothy like a criminal. <laughs> Can you imagine, guys, to be in Dorothy's shoes? <laughs> you wish to, you know? 
up his mouth not to talk <laughs> but he said it they continued talking everything went well and later on they went out with her big sister to have some dinner they ate some dinner everything went so good and Volker paid for everything. He's not a guy that is into 50-50. No, he is a responsible guy. So after visiting her family, they went to visit her uncle. Tells us it is up country, one hour from Kigali. So when they arrived at uncle's place, I told you that uncle is, you know, a friend to Dorothy. <laughs> yeah. So when they reached at her uncle's place, they told the uncle the truth that they met on online dating apps. The uncle was so, so happy. They talked and before they left, the uncle asked Volker, so you have been here. I know you like Kigali. So are you planning to come back to Kigali? Then Volker was like, yes, actually, I will return back to Kigali. But this time, I think I need to first invite Dorothy to Germany and when she comes there then I'll be the one to come again to Kigali and that's when Dorothy found out about the future plans I told you a guy is coming to see you in Africa but what are the future plans you're meeting each other and he'll be coming to visit you in Africa or oh, this guy wants to also introduce you to his life you know his real real life because you can't just know a guy only on the part of africa <laughs> the side that he showed you when he was in africa you also need to go to his country get to see his real life and find out everything that he told you if it is true and if also you like the life he is living you like the city where he stays everything because <laughs> you are going to be the one to relocate to his country it's very very important never allow a guy to come first time second time third time not inviting you to his country i repeat guys so after visiting her uncle they returned to kigali and when they arrived at the hotel that's when Volker told dorothy the first step we have you know passed it and it has gone super super good so the next step is for you to come to germany and i want you to come stay there for three months learn german language you know get to see my real life and later on we are going to get married so after talking like that of her going to germany next remained like a day then the second day, Volker was returning to Germany. She was so, so sad. He was so, so sad. Tells us at the airport, they both cried. And guys, that shows genuine love when you feel each other deeply. Yes, not you crying and the guy is telling you, why are you crying? <laughs> you know oh you're crying and the guy is just laughing at you that means he doesn't feel anything for you you know at least you know see a guy is sad i know some guys are so so hard to cry but when a guy is you know emotional you can see it through his eyes so they hugged and kissed said goodbye he returned to germany so dear beautiful friends that is how dorothy found love on online dating apps that is their beautiful online dating success love story we are going to be having an update of this love story when dorothy travels to germany and that takes us to the name of the dating app where dorothy found the one and the story that dorothy watched got inspired decided to join that dating app so the story that Dorothy watched was Vicky's story. If you guys remember Vicky's story, a Tanzanian lady who found love on online dating apps with a Polish guy. But that lady contacted me on Instagram at first, didn't know anything about online dating apps. It's me who recommended to her the dating apps to try 
and she tried that dating app then found the one if you follow me on instagram this weekend i posted a story where i was updating you of that lady she traveled to poland after the boyfriend visiting her in tanzania last year then i shared the story and then march this year that is when vicky went to poland she tells you thank you so much for your beautiful messages wishing her a safe journey she arrived safe i'm gonna be putting a photo here or here of her at the airport and she said they welcomed her very very well his family and he is really really happy i'm gonna be coming with part two of their love story so to dorothy the name of the dating app where she found the one she found him on f dating because vicky too found love on online dating apps and the name of the app where she found love was f dating i recommended to her afro introduction and f dating tells us was so attracted to f dating joined and then found love so it worked too for dorothy she joined and within a day she found love guys i've been receiving lots of messages some of you complaining if dating does not work yes i know if dating in some countries doesn't work so if f dating doesn't work just try some other apps that i've shared here on my channel and if f dating works in your country maybe are getting problems in logging in keep trying try a different email if it doesn't work then change even the phone number you come with a new phone numbers new email address and then try to join see how it will go because if it works in your country and you're having problems that means maybe it is due to technical problems so don't just give up because most of you you try and be like no i don't want to try again don't give up if you really want to find the right guy then you don't need to give up you need to keep trying till you find what you want so quickly guys to her advice tells you god first pray to god tell god what you want exactly and he's gonna answer you at his time i've been telling you god's time is the best we see that dorothy joined online dating apps last year august it did not work she deleted an account came back january and that's when she found the one and that was her god's time yes guys so put everything into the hands of god that's her advice her second advice is that if you're here you're new watch my videos because through my videos that is when she found the one so friends thank you so much for watching this video till now be blessed if you've liked this video give it a thumbs up share it to your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something comment below what you think about this video i would like to know <laughs> watch my other videos too they are super good you will learn a lot subscribe please if you have not subscribed until next time i love you so much guys you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.